For this drawing, um, I'll be drawing a family crest or family shield that will be used on a wine label. And to get started, my client sent me a, a mock-up or a comp of what she wanted the label to look like or what she wanted the drawing to look like. And as you can see right here, it's pretty w well worked out uh, with uh, some unicorns, um, a suit of armor, helmet, a crown, a shield, some flourishes. So I take this and I go ahead and do a, a pencil sketch um, in the way that I think it should look, kind of refining the drawing a little bit. And this is the pencil sketch. As you can see, um, I only drew the right side of the, the family crest. That's because it's going to be symmetrical. Um, and so what I'll do is go ahead and just mirror this horizontally um, to complete the drawing. And I do that on even on this pencil sketch to send to the client. So I send this to the client, we go over it, and maybe I make a couple little tweaks to get it the way she wants it. And then I take this drawing and transfer it to a piece of um, scratch board to do the final rendering. So this is the board that I transferred the sketch to. You'll see that in the more of the video coming up, but um, this right now is the finished rendering on the scratch board. Um, again, I only drew the right side of it because I'm going to scan this in a high resolution, take it into Photoshop, flip it horizontally, and put the two pieces together to make one complete illustration. So. Later on in the video, I'll be showing how I did, did the scanning and how I flipped it over and made it one piece. For right now, um, the part coming up is will be a time lapse showing how the rendering itself. Here I'm starting to ink, and as you can see there, uh, that subtle tone of gray is where I've transferred the pencil onto the scratch board. I leave the pencil there while I'm doing the rendering. I'll outline everything and put in the darkest darks for the shadows. When I get that all in there where the drawing is all put in place, then at that point, I erase all the pencil lines. Also while I'm drawing, um, I'm careful with the drawing the uh, outlines to try to keep kind of a graceful movement of the lines. So it kind of pulls your um, eye around different objects and through the drawing. After the drawing is outlined, then I go through and put in the shading. I do that by adding parallel lines that are evenly spaced. And then I go through and make them gradually darker or thicker in areas where I want them to be uh, a darker shadow. And then um, at the end of the drawing, about the last stage, is to go through with the scratch board knife and go into the shadow areas and put some tone. Um, just do that by scratching out, uh, sometimes breaking up lines or putting little dots in shadow areas. Now that the image is drawn, I put it on the scanner. I have a flatbed scanner, Epson 10,000 XL Expression. Um, do a preview of it. Make sure it's set to 8-bit grayscale, 1,200 uh, pixels per inch, and the document size is 100%. I use Unsharp Mask at the low level, and then at the final part. When I go ahead and hit the, get ready to hit the scan, I go ahead and put the file type as TIFF and the byte order of that. You have a choice of Mac or Windows. I do Windows, so it can be opened on uh, both Mac and Windows, and then I scan it. Now I open the, the uh, grayscale file into Photoshop. 
I used the unsharp mask filter on it, 500 maximum, um, radius 1.1, threshold uh, 2. Then I set the threshold to 115. I apply the dust and, um, what is it, dust and speckle filter to get rid of some of the noise. Then I convert it to a one bit image. Then I go over the whole drawing uh, with the pencil tool and clean up any other uh, specks or noise that the filter didn't get. Plus I do some drawing to kind of correct any kind of, uh, to perfect the drawing a little bit further than what I could do it by hand. Now that this part of the drawing has been uh, gone over, cleaned up, redrawn, um, is ready to be duplicated, uh, mirrored over to the left hand side. So I select it, do a command J, put it on a new label, uh, layer, uh, transform it by flipping it horizontally. Um, and then it's a matter of lining it up and uh, making them fit and probably you know I definitely did do a little bit more touching up once you get it together it's never going to fit 100% you have to go through and do a little bit of drawing on it but that's pretty much it that's the finished drawing